March 8, 2019, Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2 conducted its deactivation ceremony at Marine Corps Air Station Cherry Point, North Carolina. At the start of the ceremony, a formation of aircraft including two EA-6B Prowlers, an F-35B Lightning II, an F-A-18 Super Hornet, and an AV-8B Harrier executed a flyover. The staff for the ceremony included officers and staff non-commissioned officers led by the Commander of Troops, Lieutenant Colonel Julian Flores. The invocation for the ceremony was given by Navy Lieutenant Commander Thomas Bingle, reflecting on the long proud history of the squadron. They honored all that has been accomplished by the Marines and sailors of Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2, past and present. The formation of Marines presented honors to retired Lieutenant General William Badler, retired Major General Royal Moore, Jr., and Lieutenant Colonel Rundle, the commanding officer of Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron. Retired Major General Moore, Lieutenant Colonel Rundle, and Lieutenant Colonel Flores trooped the line. During the ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel Rundle invited all present former commanding officers and sergeants major of Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2 to stand as the formation of troops marched in a final review. In front of the formation, the colors are presented to honor the national anthem. The first speaker of the ceremony was commanding officer Lieutenant Colonel Rundle. Lieutenant Colonel Rundle paid his respects to the members of Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2 that aided in building its long, illustrious history. The second speaker of the ceremony was retired Lieutenant General Badler. Lieutenant General Badler paid tribute to the history and legacy of the Marines, sailors, and civilians of Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2, past and present. He expressed that they lived up to their can-do-easy motto throughout the squadron's 77 years of service. He stated that they showed honor, courage, and commitment, not only to the United States of America, but to the United States Marine. After the speakers paid their tribute to Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2, the commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Rundle and the squadron sergeant major, Sergeant Major John Studer, marched toward the color guard to case the national and organization's colors. After the colors are cased, the color guard marched away from the formation, retiring the colors. As a final goodbye, two EA-6B Prowlers fly over the ceremony. The commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Rundle, dismisses the formation ending their duties as Marines and Sailors in Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2.